You yep. need to join us at the show, which is Saturday night. Get your tickets at thefandc.com slash live. So uh, you're close to me, J- uh, JP. We'll try this. Um, I got a notebook here, and I've written down some names of celebrities. You might have to lean in to see this. I'll try to do this so you can see. Uh, can you just read off some of the names as I flick through here? Tom Brady. Uh-huh. David Letterman. Okay. Ed Sullivan. So these are living and dead. Jerry Seinfeld. All male. Okay. Justin Bieber. Right. Music. Al Pacino. Movies. Athletes. Brian Cranston. Right. George Bush. George Apple. Bush. All different. It's not the same one Joe over and over. Flacco. Ravens. There we go. Okay. Robin Williams. Robin Williams. There's uh, 80 sheets in this notebook. Mm-hmm. So 80 male names. Right. Famous people. Uh, I'm going to toss this to you. Hold it. You're right-handed? Yes. Hold it in your left hand like this. And you got to do this in a way so no one can see. Put your right hand on top like you're swearing an oath. And then I want you, without looking, to take your thumb and, like, peel back, like, turn to a random page and just peek down at it. Kind of cover it like a poker hand. Remember that name. You got it? Is that good? Yes. Toss the book over here in the corner so there's no way I can see it. Is it done? Done. Did done. You, you're right next to him. Did you see this, Jason? You're right next to him. You couldn't see over his shoulder what he was looking at? I didn't. Um, look at me. Think about who this celebrity is. They're all pretty famous, so they should be easy to picture in your head. So don't worry about the name, but can you picture this person in your mind? Yes. Okay. This is a person that's not alive anymore. Correct? Correct. Um, of course. You can nail think it. about why this person is famous. Think about the reason this person is famous. Okay. Let me see if I got this on me. We'll try this. You can kind of describe what's happening for people at home, guys, if they're just listening on the radio. I've got a little index card here. You want somebody to right? do play-by-play. He's got yeah. a tiny pair of scissors. All right. Like E.B. would cut yeah, his good, toenails good. Picture with. this person's face. Tiny, bigger. Okay. You guys, when you were a kid, did you ever make, like, snowflakes? You cut up a piece of paper and you made snowflakes? Sure. Oh, yeah. Jason did a this, lot of uh, that. <laughs> this, very yeah. He's a very this special This person snowflake. you're thinking of, this, uh, <laughs> this is someone who is probably uh, would have been seen on TV a lot. Does that make sense? Sure. They were known for what they did on TV? Yes. Yes? Um, I feel pretty good about this. I feel pretty good about this. What was, for the first time, what was the person, who did you, um, who did you think of? Well, I didn't think of something. You told me to. Sure, sure. When you peeked in there, who did you look at? Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. <laughs> That's who you thought of? Can we see this? <laughs> 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 Again, he's a sorcerer. I don't understand how this happens. How do you do that? For people it. listening at home, he's what a do you? Max Major. <laughs> it's a picture of Elvis. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know how you That's cut a hell that of a out. Snowflake. All right. Pretty I amazing. Had a talk time. All right. <laughs> uh, we have we have people on the line with cards. You want to go to them? Uh, do we have enough time? How many? How many? Or do you want to do with cake? Let's try this one last we thing. Never did 12 the cakes minutes. bit. Twelve minutes. We've got about 12 okay, minutes. we'll try this. Uh, if we got about twelve minutes, is that right? No, right. we got about <laughs> not really. Six okay. exactly. Well, then we'll do this last thing then. Okay, so cakes. Before on, we went man. on air, yeah. I asked you a couple questions, but mm-hmm. you didn't just to kind of qualify this because I wanted to try this with somebody in the room. And I asked you if you had any pets as a kid, yes? Right. But you did not say the name of any of those pets out loud. I did not. And I asked you if the guys, because you guys have known each other for a long time, if they would know the name of, like, every pet you ever had. And you said there were some that for sure they knew, right? right? But then I asked, I said, is there one that they pro- they almost definitely wouldn't know? Yes. Okay. And r- I want you to think of that right now, okay? Okay. What's your confidence level that this is, so- like, something that they wouldn't remember or wouldn't know? 100%. Okay. And this isn't uh, something I could Google about you. It's not like a story you've told on air before. No. This is uh, pretty random. Yes. Yeah. It's not the pet you um, found in your mom's drawer. Once. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's no, a show. That was a toy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a toy. Yeah, it's so not that. I want you to imagine this for me. <laughs> and uh, the cool thing is uh, that if anybody comes out to the 106 to 7, the fan live show that we're doing, you're going to see this stuff in person. And it's not just going to be on you guys. We're going to bring people on stage. Sure. Right? So people from the crowd, it's going to be totally random. We'll try to get inside their heads. Uh, but it's going to be fun because we'll get to see you guys do your thing, too. But right now, uh, Cakes, I want to focus on you for a second. Okay. So imagine that uh, this door over here in the corner, just kind of picture this, feel this. Imagine that door swung open. Okay. And in through that door ran an animal. It's kind of weird, right? That would be weird. And it yes. jumps up here on the table, and it knocks the already hurting laptop over right. off the table. And uh, it's on its last legs. And, and right in front of you, uh, actually, is a dog. You're thinking of a dog, yes? Correct. Okay. And it looks at you, and you kind of like fall back in your chair because you realize as you look at this dog (laughs) that it's not just a dog, it's the dog. Right. So literally, all these years ago, it's the same (laughs) dog, and you're freaked out, right? Right. Sure. It's not going to happen, but you're freaked out (laughs) in your head. 
And you think the first thing that you want to shout in your mind, the first thing you want to shout, you lean back and the guys are like, what's up? What's this dog? And you want to scream, oh my gosh, it's, and you'd want to scream the name because you wouldn't be able to believe it. So right. feel this in your head. The dog comes in the door. Yep. It jumps on the table. It knocks the laptop off. It looks you right in the eye and yep. you fall back in your seat and you think, oh my God, it's, but you don't say it right. in your head. <laughs> if he pulls this. <laughs> Nobody could know this. What was the name of the dog you had as a kid? Bootsy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we hey, did that. Let me ask you: Have you verbalized that name to anybody? You have not no, said that today. Bootsy. You haven't said it. No. How no. Why did would you I write say it that? down somewhere? <laughs> yeah. When, so here's the crazy thing: when If people you come have, out to the show, when did you have the dog Bootsy? Like it was the first pet I ever remember having. Like when I was probably you, you, you genuinely didn't know this, CB. No, mm. I only knew Leo and then Simba and Bell. Yeah, I mean those are. By the way, cakes. Looks like a guy who would have a dog named Boots. <laughs> it was a mutt, too, by the way. <laughs> so I really want to encourage people to come out and uh, see us at the State Theater, right? State I think yeah. the, the show's Saturday almost night. sold out. I had some friends try to get tickets, so definitely jump on it. I'd love to see you there.